Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Another wonderful day of crocheting today. We're working on our bowl separators and the last time we did our first arm, we're going to make five more of those. So I'm going to show you how to attach and keep moving along because remember we fastened off last time. So we wanna reattach onto our work. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our yarn. I'm using the same color. If you would like multiple colored arms or branches, whatever we wanna call these that stick out, you can do different colors. So do what you would like. I mean, feel free, work of art, right? So we're gonna make a loop and we're gonna drop the working tail behind. And we're gonna take our hook, go inside that loop and grab the working tail. Holding both pieces we're going to pull that up on the shank of our hook so that gets us on the hook with our yarn and we need to reattach to our work so we had done eight single um, double crochets I'm sorry eight double crochets across and in that space of the last one we are going to enter there with our hook and we're going to use not the tail but the working part of the yarn enter yarn over and pull through now we have two on our shank and we're gonna pull through for a slip stitch to attach us to our work. Okay, there we are attached and we're gonna chain one, chain two, and then we're gonna follow along just like we were doing with the last one. We're gonna do eight double crochets in the next eight stitches. So yarn over, enter the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two, Yarn over and pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, enter the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. That's two. We're gonna keep going until we have eight going across our work here of the original round four. That's three. This is four. And they're all in their own stitch. And this is five and they are all double crochets, okay? And six. And seven. And eight, wonderful. Okay, so just take a little look. Make sure that you have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's considered row one. And now we are going to go on to row two because we are going to do it the same size as this one, all right? So we're going to chain one, chain two, and turn our work. All right, and then we have eight stitches to work in with double crochets. So yarn over, enter your first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And we're gonna proceed along just like we did with the last little branch that came off. Okay, we're just going to double crochet each of these going across. This is row two now. And we're gonna go all the way through seven and we will fasten off again. And then we will make our next little branch. So I think it's not challenging. Um, I think this is something you definitely can do. Um, just take your time. The biggest thing is keeping track of your number of stitches. Let's see, um, because I just lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Um, you wanna keep track of your stitches and you wanna keep track of your rows, right? We're keeping track of our rows. So now I know I've done number two and mark it off. Then I'm gonna chain one, chain two, turn my work, and I'm gonna go on to row three. So I am making these seven rows high, I guess is the best way to call it. Um, but I think you definitely could adjust these to different sizes. If you wanted little branches that are smaller, or your circle bigger, you could just keep going or stop earlier. I think this is something you definitely could adjust to what you're using it for, whatever you're separating, um, if you have large bowls, small bowls, etc. 
Okay, so feel free to experiment with this. As you're going along, you might want to make various sizes. Maybe the ones you're nesting are all different sizes and you'd like them to be, you know, one bigger, maybe one even bigger, right? So chain one, chain two, and I'm going on to four. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to continue in this same pattern um, all the way around until we have five total completed today of these little branches. Um, now, if you can't get it all done in one sitting, that is fine. You know what you can and cannot do. Everyone has different time restraints. Um, so take your time. Just make sure that you're keeping track of everything. You know, before you get up, write it down. Know where you left off. It's all good. It's all good. I think this is actually a, kind of a nice relaxing project. I do like this. And I like this yarn a lot. It's very soft. Um, so if you're ever looking for something, what did I say it was? Oh yes, it's the Yarn Bee um, Sugar Wheel. It is very soft. It feels so nice to crochet with. Um, and I'm finding that, I probably shouldn't say it out loud, but I'm feeling a little loosey-goosey here in my stitches, which, for me is always nice, right? <laughs> I tend to be a little tight um, on my stitches, so I don't know if it's just that I'm really enjoying this project or if it's the yarn, but it's going well for me. <laughs> so I hope it's going well for you also. Okay, so now this for me is row five. Row five, so keep going with this until you get through row seven. We will attach the next um, branch on together and then I'm going to set you free to complete the rest of them but I just want to make sure that everyone is clear on how to attach yourself um, and, and then be able to keep working I don't want anybody to get confused um, I always I know sometimes we have bulk work that we have to do kind of as homework um, but I don't want you to be sitting down later in the day and confused on how you're attaching or anything. So let's just finish this branch up and then we'll attach our third one together and then I'll set you free. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is my last stitch. All right, so we're not going to chain now, right? We're just gonna pull that up a little bit, find our little scissors here and give it a snip. All right. I'm going to knot that so we don't lose our work. Oh, that would not be nice, right? Okay, so this is what we look like so far. We have two little branches coming up here, and then now we're going to attach for the third one, okay? So just want to make sure everybody understands how to do it, and then I'm going to set you free for the day to continue on these. We'll have a total of six of them, okay? So let's see here. We want to make that loop, right? Drop your working tail behind, go inside and grab that, pull it up on the shank of your hook. Okay, you are now attached onto your hook. We're gonna go into the last stitch there, that was stitch eight, and we're gonna enter, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through. We have two on our shank, and then we pull through again for the slip stitch. Okay, put your little tail in the back there, chain one, chain two, and then we need 10 double crochets, I'm sorry, eight double crochets going across here. So there's one, this is two, and three, and four, okay, five, seven and eight okay those are our working stitches for this branch so we chain one chain two 
and we turn our work and we're going to continue in the same format, right? We're going to do two through seven so that our branch looks exactly the same as this one and we're going to keep trucking along, okay? So when you are done with branch three, you will fasten it off and then you will attach right here in this same stitch eight okay and then you'll keep going around so you'll have three more to do after this one all right and then we will meet up and we'll work on our edging the next time we're together so i will see you then thank you and have a joyful day